Mr. Ambrose Somodian, Chief Research Officer, Investor uh, Consulting Limited. He joins us live here now. Thank you for your time on the program. Thanks for having me here. <laughs> yes, it's a new week. Uh, well, give us a sense of the activities of the market uh, last week. A total turnover of, uh, of uh, 2.79 billion uh, unit of shares, worth about 23.8 billion in about 22,000 deals, uh, was traded last week. Uh, by investors on the floor, uh, if you compare that to the previous week of 1.37 billion uh, units of shares valued at 23.78 billion that exchanged hands the previous week. So, although even though the value recorded last week was better than the previous uh, week, uh, you know, in terms of performance, you see that it was better in terms of the deal. Sorry. Not um, yeah. performance in terms Actu of the deals. Last Actu week was better than the previous one. Actually, you know that uh, the market is trying to find its feet after like almost a, a week. The product was a, a, a negative market. You know, it was a negative outing for the the week before this one under review. You know, investors have seen price pulling down. You know, don't know that in a invest uh, in met or equity investment, when stock pull back, it become more attractive for you to enter. Seeing that the previous week market was on on the decline. Then in the, new, in the new week, at the middle, see there was a kind of uh, a renewed uh, buying interest you know, on the side of the uh, you know, investing public. Tell me that they are still expecting these earnings that are here to hit the market. And when it comes, there is any medium in the position than hearing with your ears or seeing the number five jumping. No, I have already also told them in all these years that you don't wait to see numbers before you buy. You have to enter before the number hit the market so that when it comes like it's favorable, you will join the rally. For that, seeing that the market you know, mm -hmm. in, in the previous week was down, now, that's a great opportunity for them to enter again. And also, don't forget that that same week again, was it that there was kind of a positive uh, outing or a signal coming from Ukraine, uh, Russia issue. When uh, Putin said that, okay, that the talks are becoming you know, positive and they are making progress in talk, that actually also ginger some uh, you know, investors, to, okay, let's go back to the market. That means in the near future, we might see this uh, you know, uh, conflict coming to an end. But I mm. tell you that investors in our market here, because the factors going for our market are still very much intact. I've said it earlier on this program that we are looking at you no know, full year earnings season that is coming uh, that is extending to 31st of March. And from April again, we are seeing first quarter earnings for 2021, uh, 2022. 2022. On that note, people also let's calculate we can stay in the market between now and end of April. You see, we are now you know, kind of uh, extending our stay in the market. That is one of the that people are looking at. And also, this we want to see the inflation figure to see okay if our inflation mm -hmm. have rally high as what we saw in U.S. Well, U.S. last week, the inflation hit about 40 years high. If our own is still going to come down or up, we wait to see. So that it also change the kind of uh, decision investors will make between now and end. Of, don't forget also the, uh, the coming week again is also MPC meeting. That means within the now and next week, you see market was delayed. We want to see the inflation data. We want to see what the outcome of uh, MPC meeting. But I believe that as the the way the things happen globally, I don't see our MPC meeting adjusting anything again. Not because you can't need to do anything at this point that even the global economy right. they are confused because you know can you can I hike my in, uh, my my interest rate to control inflation? But our own year, who are saying that our inflation is declining? That means on the other I want to see the list because to see what yeah. will prompt in the coming MPC meeting. For me, the market is still very, very okay. Only that I say that don't be greedy. Because in this kind of market, if you are greedy, the little money you have made in the market, market was to take it back mm. from you. Let me also come in quickly. You know, yes, it means that this is a double advantage for investors. At the end, from April, we're going to be seeing the first quarter of 2022 earnings. Yeah. And then, of course, by the end, we should have a full re report for, result for the full year, for the full year 2020, uh, 2021. Yeah. So you said we shouldn't wait for investors, should not wait to see the numbers they can invest. And so how can one... Uh, you know, play. So, are you saying that uh, the results are already positive? It's a kind of prediction. Isn't no, it? as an investor or a player in this market, we we'll have quarterly results that come from this company. It's just like when you send your child to school, at the end of the uh, term, it comes with a report card. Every company on the exchange has to give the investing public or the exchange their award, their scorecard. It's part of the post listing requirements when you are listing on mm. the exchange. That means you have seen the company first quarter, second quarter, third quarter. You cannot really look at oh where is this company going because you have seen almost third quarter of the third quarter of its performance. They are for the they are waiting for the last one. That should tell you what you have seen for the third performance. You give you an insight what should happen from the company. That is why I said you don't need to wait to see the final number before you buy. You need to mm. see that on the strength of those ones you have seen, you cannot give an okay inside what you should do, whether you should sell position in that company because if they are performing right. well, the numbers will show. If they are doing badly, the numbers will show. Numbers don't lie. 
Mm. Okay. Um, I think let's just quickly take it, but when we come back, we'll look at um, what the market or investors should expect uh, the, the market in regards to portfolio inflows and positioning for this week. Let's quickly take a break now. You're still watching the Business Breakfast, but uh, of course, looking at the market last week and what the market uh, expected or the direction for the week. We'll be back in a moment. Stay with us. Powerful looks command respect, they say. The perfect body. The perfect grooming. And ultimately, the perfect skin. Looks, style, and grooming makes the ultimate man. found a ridiculously easy way to make my skin always feel epic. My name is Neo, I found Blemivir and now my skin finally makes sense. Most people don't understand the magic of a perfect skin. The allure of a well-pampered skin. We bounce from skincare products to skincare products. From spa to spa. Looking for that ideal solution. I found a solution. And it's Blemivir Skin Care and Spa. My name is Neil, and I'm proud to be a part of the Blemivir family. Mama, you're coming to Lagos. Banga. Baby, Mama just called me now. She's coming to see you. She asked me to tell you to make Banga soup for her. And she's close to the house. Oh. How do you expect me to prepare Banga? In just a few minutes. Ah. I have a solution for you. Really? Mm -hmm. Don't go enter my family.
Thank you for joining us now. Let's uh, continue from there. Before we went to break, I was going to ask you um, what investors should expect uh, from the market with regards to stock, to watch sectors, to watch uh, the movement and direction of the market for the week. Actually, for sectors to watch, I, I would advise the look the world fed, oil and gas sector. You know, in the world now, commodity prices are rallying. That's why there's a pullback recently, yesterday, on the international market. That does not stop that the price will not rebound. As far as this uh, conflict continues in, in mm. Ukraine and Russia, the price of oil will continue to look up. That means, as an investor, design that you should be in that sector. And also, look at also some sector again, like the Nigeria here, our industrial sector, where we are having an infrastructural gap. Those sectors are going to provide the cement or the machinery for that. Those two sectors to means whether there is recession or recession, whether there is you know, high cost of, uh, you know, um, high cost of uh, production or they need to put a road in order. That means those companies will also be doing business. Especially look the world of the cement industry. And if you look at that cement, we have about three giants there. The one that are becoming cheaper, I can see that the pullback and warp coal for me is an attractive uh, point for investors. Especially they've not marked down the date for their corporate action. It's a good one around there, 24, 23 naira. It's a good, it's a good buy. Then look at the world of uh, step lot. It's okay, you no, know? you know, it depends. Mm. Mm. Okay, let's wrap up with this one now. Um, you know, for instance, you have the financial services industry last week, which left the activity chart with about 2.39 billion uh, units of shares, which was valued at 14.3 or 14.03 billion uh, naira, and followed by the conglomerate. You talk about the oil sector because of uh, the impact of the Ukraine Russia yeah, uh, yeah. crisis that is ongoing. Now, uh, recently we, we, we've started seeing the invest, investors' appetite. Uh, towards the uh, the insurance sector as well. Uh, so, do we expect something going to come out uh, of that uh, sector this this week? You no, know, we we'll say financial sector. We are covering both the insurance and the, mm. and the banking sector. For the banking sector, we know that they are most consistent in dividend payment. Why insurance? The low price attraction is what investors are seeing there. But going to the future, there might be also some policy change because most of the insurance companies are doing what we call recapitalization. I mean, possibility of margin acquisition in that right. industry. Is not high. That means investors are paying that sector. In case there's any margin acquisition, they will be on the on the gaining side of the acquisition of the money. That's why you see you know, activities in that sector. But I believe that mm -hmm. uh, what we saw in the banking uh, sector is uh, the activities of uh, FCMB trading about uh, 900 and something uh, million shares. For me, it's a good one. That is, the investors are really also looking ahead of uh, more banking results to hit the market, especially the Access Bank, you know, Stanbic. You know, and also Fidelity and other banks to release their full year results. For me, the banking sector is equally okay because they are consistent in their dividend payments.